Hey guys, I hope you've been really enjoying these tech tutorials so far. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your PDFs typable. So this really comes in handy if you have any worksheets or guides that you would like your clients or your audience to fill out. Okay, so first things first, you need to create your PDF. And you can do this using Word, Pages, or Canva. I'll have to do another video showing you how to do that. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to make an existing PDF typable. So here's one of mine that I've already created. It's a workbook that I give to students in my online course, Website That Wows, when they first enroll. So as you can see, I'm asking them questions about their specialty and their core values. But what I wanna do for this video is make this box here typable. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to pdfescape.com and then you're going to choose your file and upload that there. Okay, great, so I'm going to scroll down to that second page and then I'm going to click form field and it's going to come up with text, make sure that it's on that one and then click select and then you're just going to click on top of the box and it's going to bring up this rectangle shape and you're just going to drag that out by the corners and uh, match the area that you've created in your PDF. And then up here, you can change the font and the size of your text as well. And then you're going to want to right click, go to Object Properties and check Multi-Line. Click OK. And that's all that you have to do. Now, sometimes I have issues with the top area so I like to drag it down a little bit otherwise it can go outside of the box so I'm gonna drop it down a little bit and then all you need to do is click the download button which is this green one right here so it's going to download there all right so I'm going to open that up okay Go down to that section and now I should be able to click on it and type in my answer. And that's it. So very easy as you can see. Uh, that's all you have to do. You would just go through and do the same. You can do the same for lines as well as for boxes. And there you have it, a typable PDF. All right, so that's it for this video. I'd love to know if you found it helpful. So let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys soon in another video.